sponsored by Squarespace, where you can make pretty, pretty, pretty sweet websites. This week, we're taking the world's biggest viable Warhammer miniature and putting it under the brush. And honestly, it's quite daunting for a couple of reasons. We've already spent over 300 hours planning, building, sculpting, remaking, and cutting apart the miniature and the diorama. And I really don't want to mess this up in the painting step, because it would feel like such a huge time waste to mess it up at this stage. And I don't want to do that. And we have this idea to be heavily inspired by this old car cemetery that's available here in Sweden, as well as some miniatures made by Roman Lappa. So it's really crucial that we nail the painting now, or it's gonna haunt us forever. And seriously, it's a $1,705 miniature. If that isn't daunting, I don't know what is. I think this has got to be the most anticipated video we've done in six months, because every week since we got the Manta, you guys have been on our backs to let us know that you want us to finish it and get to a point where we can paint the Manta. And I really don't want to disappoint, because there's so many of you that's been excited about this. So I think I'm gonna start with one of the smaller parts. There's some bits like in the front of the Manta that's loose that we've just magnetized so I'm gonna try to like do a color test on it and see how that works. Marvel. So Emil doesn't actually know this. We were gonna paint this next week, but I'm kind of excited to paint it. So I will try out which paints we're gonna use on this one. Don't let him know because yes. <laughs> I've been looking for this part that's on the cockpit of the airplane for probably 25 minutes and I can't seem to find it. Victor and Maxim haven't seen it either, so I don't know what to do. Lucas is home with COVID, so I guess I'm gonna call him and see if he knows where it is. Hey, how are you doing? Have you seen the, t the top of the Manta where the, the cockpit is? Because I cannot find it. Apparently it's in Lucas' desk. Let's see. Oh. I actually really like this. That's super nice. It's got this like jade, baby blue look to it. Really feels like an old 60s, 70s car. I like that a lot. So I guess uh, I'll just start painting the rest of the Mini. I've got these two colors, light green, blue, and green sky. We're making two lines around each hexagon. Darker lines at the bottom and brighter at the top. And to do this we're using pastel green from AK Interactive and adding some Vallejo ivory for the whiter parts. We're also making this reflective part between the two lighter lines. It really helps create this sort of diamond effect. So with the super cool stripes in place, with the shield cloaking device thing all painted, I think we're gonna start weathering the thing and shadowing it and adding rust and stuff. So we're gonna start with the magic streaky grime. And yeah, we're gonna be using a lot of white spirits to clean it off. So I think we're gonna do this outside. Let's hope we don't mess this up.
So we're done with the streaky grime and I feel like it's starting to look kind of great. It's time to move in with some torn up sponges. So we get this nice uh, battle damage stuff hitting the manta kind of effect and we're off to maybe some rust effects. We're using my favorite color, Rhinox Hide, and stippling it wherever we can to make the feeling of the paint having been shipped off from the years of being out in the nature. And to bring the chipping together with the rest of the paint job, we wanted to add a highlight. And we do this on one side of the chipping. Sweet baby Jesus. Lucas, I think this is the last one. You want to do it together? Yeah. There we go. Only about uh, 900 trillion hours later of weathering and uh, highlighting chipping. Good job, Lucas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last weathering step we're gonna do is some rust streaks, and we're gonna do that using dirty down rust as well as some orange paints, and hopefully it's gonna look amazing. Balls. So let's try it because we're kind of excited to have this almost done. <laughs> Today we're going to use Squarespace award-winning templates. With Squarespace, anyone can be a great web designer. And the templates will help you make awesome looking galleries and web shops to sell your art online. Now type Squarespace. Squarespace. Triangle space. Stop, stop, stop. You're going to get an ugly website. Besides, it's Squarespace, not triangle space. You'd do it then if you're so clever. <laughs> Squarespace.com slash Squidma. Click! Oh, well done! See here, everyone! And if you use the code Squidma, you get 10% off your entire purchase! If this was a small thing like a rhino or uh, maybe dreadnought, it would probably be done in maybe 20 minutes, but this is going to take us hours. A lot of hours. Now the last thing we're gonna do today on the Manta is that I'm actually gonna start painting the windows and I've been practicing one time before, so I'm just gonna paint the sky, paint like some mountains and stuff, maybe a sun, and then try to make some sort of non-metallic metal reflection covering up almost everything I just painted, but somehow that makes it look like a window. So yeah, let's paint some windows. So, I think uh, the painting is done! How many hours have we spent? <laughs> How many days have we spent on it? 69,420 days! At least. In just a few seconds we're gonna do the grand reveal, but first, let me thank all of the awesome patrons who support this channel every month. If you wanna help out, uh, but maybe you don't have a dollar or two to spare, then you can smash like and subscribe, because that helps us. Yeah, then you'll also see when we paint the inside of this butte next uh, time we post the video. So, do that. But now, it's time for a grand reveal. reveal.
that's it for today. Have a great day and check out Squarespace because you can make pretty websites there. Bye bye.